Hi everyone, it's Joanne and welcome to my channel. I'm super excited to share a new project with you that's not kit, sp kit specific and anybody can do it. Um, so I made my cover and I'm gonna explain how I did that. I'm gonna start my signatures, collecting stuff for my signatures. And um, I'm gonna walk you through this because this cover is not done and I'm gonna explain why in a minute. All right, so I decided um, I wanted to use coffee dyed paper and other paper that's eight and a half by 11 folded in half. So I decided I needed to make my cover 12 by nine. So it gave a half an inch all the way around. So what I did was I cut a piece of cardstock nine inches. It was already 12 and I cut it down to nine. So there's a piece of cardstock in here. There is a piece of just very thin matting. I think you can see it. Let me, I think you could probably see it down here a little better because I didn't cut. So let me bring that up, take a look. There's a little piece of matting in there and then two pieces of fabric that I got at Joann's on Friday that I thought kind of spoke to me um, as a Christmas journal. I love cardinals, I love the colors, so um, that's what I chose. So I cut all that down a little bit more, the, um, the matting and the fabric a little bigger than the 12 by nine. So I sewed, <laughs> I sewed the one piece of fabric directly on top of the cardstock. All right, and I used a, you can't really see it down there, but a straight stitch. Um, it's in white because my bobbin is white and my um, thread is brown. I didn't want to waste a whole nother piece. I didn't realize the bobbin was white. But I had put, kind of glued on the cardboard these two pieces before I did that. Um, that'll end up being the tie. And then I flipped it over. I laid the... Um, matting on the top, then this piece of fabric, and I sewed a zigzag stitch around it again. Now, of course, the pretty brown is on the inside because that's the thread, all right? But it has these two layers of the white, which I'm okay with that, all right? So I'm not going to sew my signatures in or put any kind of lace, whether I use this, or I get some red or, or some green, something like that, because even if I don't secure my signatures in, and I think I will, or my signature, I think it's going to be one, um, even if I just use elastic or some baker's thread or something like that to hold it in for now so I can work on the journal, I still wanna cover that. So whatever I use on the outside is going to be put on last. All right, and it's soft, it's kind of thin. Um, it's not real taunt on the inside because again, this is the first time I've done this, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And then I ordered um, some corners because I didn't have any on Amazon. These are the ones that I chose for this, but I just wanted to show you these and I'll link them down below. It came in this big thing. There's a hundred, how many pieces here? Uh, 192 pieces. So there's 24 packs of eight quarters, corners, can't talk. And they're silver, they're coppery. This one fell out of its pack, but I have all different sizes. I thought it was a pretty good deal. I'm gonna link that down below in case you wanna check that out. Um, they had a set that was $2 less, but you got almost half of what you get in this. So for $2, I'll have these for a long time. I like the size differences and different options. I didn't have corners, so I'm pretty happy with that purchase. All right, so these are the ones that I chose for this journal. Again, there's eight in here, and I'm only going to use four on each corner and I'm going to take one I'm going to kind of stick it on here. 
try to get the fabric in it. When I was picking one out, I kind of put it on and it all went in pretty nicely. So, all right, so that's that. It doesn't look great back here. So let me try to push that in. try a different side. I may have to do this off camera because I may have to play around with it a little more, but I just wanted to show you how I'm doing this. This one might have worked a little easier. I shove that material in there. So I'm going to place these on and then I'm going to use this um, I have, it's called a mighty crimper, but you can use pliers, whatever. And then I'm going to just push this down so that it um, secures on there. But I don't want to, um, I don't want to mess this up. So I'm going to take my time off camera and I'll be right back when I get all four of those on. I got my corner protectors on off camera. It was much easier because I could bring it down towards me and, and work with it. So I'm pretty happy with those. So let me see. Let me try to bring it up so there's the front and there they are on the back all right so there's the cover so far of course um you know it'll end up having um lace here or whatever else i want to put on the front but i'm happy with that as is so i pulled some papers while i was off camera and um for my signature and i have 12 sheets so let me show you what I decided on. Um, I wanted something, the coffee dyed paper to be the first. So when you open it, it's gonna be like this. I didn't want anything to compete a whole lot with this. So then I have this and, and I have coffee dyed paper in between each of these. And then I pulled two sheets out of a book I have, and these are like pine cones, different pine trees. I thought that would work. More coffee dyed paper. It does have a mark here, but most of that's going to be covered anyway, so it doesn't matter. Some more of this pretty paper. Coffee dyed paper. More of the pretty paper. Um, the second uh, tree page. Coffee dyed paper. And this one, and then this is going to be my center, which I thought would look really fabulous. Um, let me just make sure. Yeah, it goes like that. So I thought this would look really pretty as the center against this. And then the other half is just that coffee dyed paper, the tree paper, this paper, coffee dyed, this. This, the other tree, the other half of that, super pretty. So I have 12 pieces in here. So it gives me plenty to work it with, one signature. Um, I'll tell you about this paper right here. One, all the pretty, two, three, four, and five this it's from um, it's a digital download that I purchased off of Etsy um, from pink monarch prints and I'll link that below all right I looked um, a long time uh, to find a Christmas print I found lots that I liked but I thought this one kind of spoke to me and um, I ordered it and I printed it on um, regular paper and I just thought it was too thin and then my printer went down it's offline I can't get it back on so yesterday I went to um, I sent it to Staples for a one day uh, print and it's on like a cardstock front to back now the problem was um, the first file was uh, pages one to five and in your printer then you take that turn it around you do six for ten, through ten so it had like 
um, one of these and then one of the planes on the back. And I have, you know, some decorative on both sides, but there wasn't any way to get around that, sending it to Staples. Um, the gentleman thought that there's a special instruction part, which I didn't see, but I'll look the next time. And, and it doesn't matter to me. It's, it's okay the way it is. I'm fine with the way it is. Um, I thought about putting one of the December things in here as pages, but I think I'm going to use this because I had ordered this off of, I think it was eBay a while back. Um, and I want to use maybe some of these December images in here. I definitely want to use some of these December images instead of using it as, you know, a page folded in half because I feel like I have plenty. But this would be great on some of that tie-dye paper. Tie-dye paper. Oh my gosh, coffee-dyed paper. And um, part another piece of the kit that I had ordered um, were tags sold separately. And um, I think I ordered three files. And the first time you order from them, you get 30% off. So it was really inexpensive. So I have tags and I have different like um, pockets. I had printed these out uh, before my printer went offline. And I think these are okay on paper, copy paper. If not, I can always just send these files to um, Staples again. Some of those, some more. So yeah, pink Monarch prints, all these pretty things that go with it. All right, and I'll be using these and I'm going to actually journal along with you. So what I'm gonna do, um, I definitely want to ink around the corners of these pages. Um, if I can find my inker, there it is. All right, so I'm gonna go and just use some vintage photo and ink around all of these, not the um, tie dye, oh my gosh, not the coffee dye. If I want to go back and do it, I can, um, because this is what I do. So let me put this back the way it goes. After I do that, I'm going to take, I have elastic, or I may just take some of this twine here. I have different thicknesses. And I'm going to bring it through here and just tie it. And of course, it would be a piece that would fit. <laughs> and this might. I'm gonna tie it kind of loosely. And um, that way, when I work on this, I know some people like to uh, sew the signature right into the journal and then work on in it, but I like to be able to pull it out and if I want to work on it that way. So there's no right or wrong, it's just preference. Um, I probably will sew it in at the end and I'll show you how to do that. But for now, I'll either use a piece of the elastic I have that's, I don't think it's in front of me, it's in with my sewing stuff um, across the room here, so I don't have to go into that. So I think that's all I'm going to show for today because I don't want the video to be too long. And then um, after I get this done in, my next uh, uh, inked and tied, then my next video, I'm going to start decorating and using the elements. So um, I hope you join for inspiration. And uh, again, I just wanted to do a project that wasn't kit specific and something that anybody could do, um, you know, with papers they have and things they want to pull from their stash. All right, so have a great day. Thank you for joining today, and um, I will see you soon. Super excited to start this project with you.